wanted. Nathan on J. <laughs> We're finally back here, everyone. Welcome. Jay's got his helmet on. Safety your first, kids. Safety first. Yeah. Yeah. I Let's forgot what we have to do. Yeah, you, okay. I'll explain it to you. For people that haven't seen the wanted on the wanted before, we ask each other questions that you've sent in. Um, Nathan's asking me them now. <laughs> go. Quick, okay, go. Quiet. Oh, number one. Yes, we get ten questions each, by the way. And this is from at underscore Chloe Snedden. Okay. Or Chloe Snedden. David's sister. David's sister. Yeah. So. How does it feel being the third most famous person in the Wanted? No, I'm sorry, I'm joking. How does it feel... <laughs> <laughs> that's sort of band middle, really. I'm happy with that. How does it feel being the third most famous person in Nottingham? Well, who are the first two? Oh, after Robin Hood and Sue Pollard. <laughs> ah, <laughs> it feels like an honour, because Nottingham's kicked out some really, really famous people. Who like? Robin, Robin Hood is one of them. Um... And he's globally famous. So if I ever say to someone from Missouri, have you ever heard of Nottingham? They go, sure, Nottingham, Robin Hood. And I go, yeah, or me. Do they ever say Sue Pollard? I actually don't know who Sue Pollard is. Um, <laughs> which is a shame, because that means I don't even know who I am. <laughs> she was in a show called Heidi High. Camping? Yeah. Okay, gutted for me. She was a chalet maid. Well, you know what? There's a lot of people in Nottingham that deserve to be more famous than me, so... We'll see Pollard for one. <laughs> yeah, that's, and that's why she is, apparently. Oh, how hilarious. What a lovely time we're having. Um, so, how does it feel? How does it feel? Good. Okay. What a response. Good is all I can come up with. Good. Let's go, boy. Let's go. Go, Nate. Number two. Number two. This is from Annie Styles. 1D. I believe that's One Direction. <laughs> <laughs> I think she likes Harry Styles. I think you could say you say that. She does. So do we. What's the funniest moment of the radio tour? Um, the funniest moment of the radio tour for me was a slow burn. Slow burn meaning that a seed was planted, literally, and over time it's become more hilarious. There were, there were funny ones, but this has really caused me a long period of regular laughs. And it started with me getting a bit of an arrow and thumbing it into our tour manager, Martin's <laughs> ear. And in a couple of days when he has a day off, which we don't sort it out, um, He's going to A and E because he's got an ear infection and he can't hear out of one ear, oh, which is sucking. absolutely hilarious <laughs> because he has to go to hospital <laughs> and say, oh, "I've got some aero in my ear." <laughs> um, and even though I didn't realise at the time how hilarious it was, because <laughs> he just did that and frowned at me, over the coming days it's been really p funny, um, <laughs> idiot. So we don't advise people to do this at home, though, do we? Because um, he's now deaf in one ear. <laughs> he's not, he, genuinely, he's in quite a lot of pain. He's uncomfortable. He can't sleep very well. Um, and see, it cracks me up. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, don't do it at home, kids. You know what's really funny? Chocolates for your gob, not for your ears. <laughs> yeah. If you sat next to him and you go, Martin, can you get the wrong ear? He will completely ignore you. <laughs> he actually naturally can't hear you. It's brilliant. Number three. <laughs> If you got another lizard, what would you call it? And would you stick the, to the avatar theme? And that is from at Amy, no, at underscore Amy underscore TW. That's a really good question. Um, if I got another lizard, I think I would definitely stick to the avatar theme. Okay. And so... That might be it, someone from Avatar. If someone's just heard that and they brought a lizard round. And hopefully... You imagine if someone actually came with a lizard now. That would be cool. I'll be really disappointed now if not. Oh no, it's Max. <laughs> Um, I would call it Jake. A lot Jake. Of people, Jake. A lot of people would have guessed that. Okay. Um, Sunny. I brag saying that. Sunny's quite good, but I think it's a bit of a girly name. It is. Um, girl, but I could be adopting more soon anyway. Um, and I won't be changing their names to Avatar Base because I think it's confusing to change someone's name. Okay. Question, yes. question four. Question four. This is from at Georgie84. Okay. Mm. So she's pretty old. Just kidding. No <laughs> cougar. Would you rather travel to Pandora or have a lifetime supply of Skittles? Oh my god, I would go to Pandora at the drop of a helmet. 
I would take me there. That moment when Jake's running through the rainforest for the first time, he bites into that fruit, and I literally thought, take me there. Someone, please, God, please, Awa, take me there. Rude. <laughs> Someone get a hose. <laughs> the bitch is on heat. So basically, he just broke the flip. <laughs> so, um, back to that Go question on. about losing your mind or beyond bars. He'd go behind bars because he's already lost his mind. <laughs> okay. Anyway, question 10 from Charlotte. If you had a chance, or if you had the chance, yeah. would you rather be an avatar for a day or a lizard? Um, I think I would rather. Well, I'll be an avatar. Because a lizard. You know what, this is ridiculous. It's a ridiculous answer to a ridiculous question. Um, maybe in the future you could find a way of transforming into another animal. I don't know how, but just, I don't know, experiencing, I don't know, experiencing with virtual reality, uh, the feeling of being a lizard. But an avatar is a fake creature. You know, on a planet that doesn't exist, and our culture is one that we'll never really know, because... <laughs> we'll never really know, because it's not real. Um, I think... Lizards are fascinating and incredible, but also they're like machines. They're like they're in, they're pure instinct. They're beautiful, but if I was a lizard, I wouldn't sit there and think, "Oh, that flickering lights of television. I'm going to watch some countdown." They just look and think, "Oh, light." That's all. That's that's it. Their instinct. Was, but avatars have culture and they have weird tail. Of hunting, yeah. and they can connect to animals. They can. So I could, I could be. If I was an avatar, I could fly with the. <laughs> what was it? I'm not sure. I think there's some sort of math idea going on right now. We're trying to do something really productive here. <laughs> what um, they did? I'm not sure. But basically, I could fly in Ikram. I could ride a big dire horse. It would be fantastic. So it's it. Easy question. Speaking of which. Oh. The munch. Horses. Hey there, how's it going? So, to summarise. Yeah. Just so you know, Nathan is really slow at talking in real life as well. Yeah. He, when I'm in a flip with him, I feel like I'm going 200 miles an hour and he's going one. And that's why, you know, the same thing with Nathan is normally over about 10 minutes. Um, and it's really slow. Which some people like because it's easier on the brain. Why is me right up? Stay looking at him while I just disappear in a comedic fashion. I just want to say what a fascinating human being you are. But I love you, come oh, on. That's bad. Oh, sorry. So to summarise, Jake's a fascinating human being, and by answering those questions, I'm sure you all know that too. And just one more thing. Jane has lost her voice. She hasn't had a sex change. <laughs> She does, she does her, um... I've lost my voice. And she does the laugh of a, um... Drag what? queen. A drag queen. <laughs> <laughs> and up next... Is... We don't know, do we? A surprise. A surprise. Thank you, Nathan. So long. It's been a pleasure. Over and out.